In this video, we are going to calculate the size and probability of events based on this three-circle Venn diagram. So um, event C is like in comedies, event H is like in horror movies, and event A is like in action movies. Use this Venn diagram to answer the following questions. What does the two on the outside mean? Well, this means that uh, there were two people surveyed who did not like, uh, well, I'll say they liked neither comedies, nor horror, nor action movies. So maybe they only liked dramas or something like that. What does the 10 in the middle mean? Well, these are people who like comedies and horrors and action movies. How many people were surveyed? Well, you would just have to add up all of the numbers on the Venn diagram, and that turns out to be 119. Okay, how many people like comedies? Well, here are the people who like comedies. It's not just the 50, all right? All four of these numbers are in the comedy circle. So I'd have to add up all of those. Notice for neither of these answers did I put a fraction. Um, it just says how many. So I'm not going to divide by the total. Unless it says probability. Oh my god, look at that. When it says probability, that's when I do target over total. Alright, that's what probability is. Okay, now, find the probability that someone likes comedies given that he or she likes action movies. All right, I like given problems because that tells you the new total right there. So given, hold on, I need to erase my work from the previous problem. Okay, given he or she likes action movies. All right, that means... Um, this is the new total, action movies. Whenever you have a given problem, the first thing you want to do is highlight the new total. Uh, but then immediately, because this is the new total, that means none of these other numbers exist. So you should cross them out like, like I just did. So these four numbers are the only numbers that we're going to use for the rest of the problem. Okay, so um, that's the new total. So what is this? So this is 33. So that is the new total. So when we do target over total, the new total is going to be 33. Now what about the target? The probability that someone likes comedies. All right comedies that's the new uh, that's the target okay so I need to circ I need to highlight numbers that are comedies um, being careful not to touch the numbers I that I crossed out that's why I crossed them out so I wouldn't be tempted to highlight the 50 or the 13 but the 5 and the 10 those are comedy numbers um, they those are within the comedy circle so that's 15 that's why the target is 15 All right, so 15 out of 33. That is the probability. Uh, of course, you could reduce that, turn it into a percent, whatever you want. Find the probability that someone likes comedies and horror movies. Now, this is not a given problem. So when I do target over total, um, the total is going to be the original total that, of people that were surveyed. That's 119. All right, so I know the total is going to be 119. So, people who like comedies and horror movies. Okay, let me get rid of all this racing. Um, so we're just talking about the overlap between comedy and horror. So um, this is the overlapping part between comedy and horror. So the 13 and the 10, that's 23. 
So target over total is the 23 out of the 119. Okay, find the probability that someone uh, likes comedies but dislikes horror movies. Okay, so um, this is really the probability of liking comedies, the probability of C, and um, not H. All right, they like comedies but not horror movies. When we do AND problems, I like to use two different colors because for AND problems, we are looking for the overlap between the two. So I'm going to highlight comedies in yellow, and then I'm going to highlight um, not horror in blue, and then the overlapping part should show up as being green, and then that'll be my target. So let's start with the comedies. All right, uh, the comedies are here. 50, 13, 10, and 5. Those are my comedies. Now, in blue, we're going to highlight the ones that are not horror. Okay, so not horror. Well, um, this is not horror. This is not horror. This is not horror. This is not horror. These four numbers are all out outside of circle H. They're all not horror. Now the target will be the green ones, all right, because they were uh, highlighted in blue and yellow. So the target is 50 and 5. It's the 55, the overlapping part. Okay, so when we do our target over total, that's why we're going to be doing uh, 55 over 119. Now the next one is almost the same. Now we're doing the probability of comedy or not horror. Alright, the probability that someone likes comedies or dislikes horror. So the thing is when I do an or problem I only use one color for everything because uh, for an OR problem, OR is more. We're not looking for just the overlap. We want all of both. So we will just highlight everything mentioned in one color. So let's start by highlighting our comedies. Well, let's start by erasing the last group. All right, we're just going to do one color. So we'll start by highlighting comedies. Boom, boom 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 those are the comedies now we will highlight not horror in the same color alright not horror alright everything outside of the circle H is this and this and the 5 and the 50 now everything we just highlighted that's the target and that turns out to be uh, 94 if you just add up all six of these numbers that turns out to be 94. So target over total, that's why we're going to have 94 over 119. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe, or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.